Well, I loved our defense. Uh, it gets me fired up. Uh, you know, love uh, how hard our, our players played on the, on the defensive end of things. Uh, we were active. We were moving our feet. Uh, we, were, we were helping each other out um, and uh, really just did a nice job of not letting Northern Colorado uh, ever really get started and made every shot that they took really difficult. And um, so really, really proud of that. And we sp we've spent a lot of time on defense. And obviously, you want your offense to click a little bit better than it did. But uh, you win with defense. And um, you know, I think it, it just shows you that we were able to, to win by a large margin because of our defense. The other night, we were playing Loyola. And our offense was clicking. But we let them back in the game because we couldn't get stops when we needed to get stops. So uh, overall, um, very solid and, and really happy with, with where we're at. And, uh, we'll figure out how to how to score a few more baskets in the next one. But does uh, win number one hundred feel any different from win number one? No, <laughs> maybe maybe than win number one, but um, not really than than any other win. You know, I I don't really look too much at, at milestones. The only thing that that I always take a chance to uh, you know to do is. Um, really to congratulate all the players and staff members that I've had that, uh, that, have, that have made that possible. Obviously, as a head coach, you have a part, a uh, very small part in, in all of those wins. And, um, you know, it takes a lot of really good players and, and a lot of talent and a lot of hard work to, uh, to do that. So I, I do want to take a chance to, um, you know, to commend all the, the, the players and, and the coaching staff members that have, that have helped us get there. It wasn't, the win really wasn't in doubt. The way the second half started, you had three turnovers before you even had, had a basket. Was it a little bit of a letdown after getting such a big lead? I thought just our offense in general was a little bit of a letdown. Um, we let them score a little bit too much in the third quarter. Um, they beat us in the third, and um, you know, but but in general, we were we were pretty sloppy with the basketball. Uh, we weren't we weren't clicking. Um, very well, and you know you got to give Northern Colorado a lot of credit. They did some really good things defensively. They flooded the lane well. Uh, they were aggressive on the ball. Um, they were really coming after us with two players a lot of times, two and three players. Every time you saw that ball go on the inside, uh, whether it was at the high post or the low post, there were multiple, multiple players in there, and it was hard for us to sometimes get that ball out. Um, but we've got to be sharper. Uh, our timing wasn't great. Our movement wasn't great. Our passing. Um, our decision making. So those are the things that we have to, to shore up um, if you want to feel like you played really, really well at the end of the game. Do you feel like you've got a little momentum going for your trip to Lexington? We do. We, you know, we've, we've, our offense has, has been playing pretty well up until tonight. Um, but it was good for our defense to, to catch up. And um, now, now, like I said, we just got to put those two things together. Um, obviously, Kentucky is a, is a tough opponent. They're, they're good. They're going to pressure. Um, you know, they're big inside. They're, it's, it will be nice to play against actual, you know, true post players. Um, they have two true post players um, that will start and then another couple that come off the bench. So it's going to be more, it's going to be more Pac-12 like uh, than what we faced so far in, in essentially having a floor of four or five guards. Um, so it, that, that will be fun um, to, to see how our team does against that sort of uh, a team. The early season test, is this kind of where you get to see where your team's at, even though it's early and there's a lot of games left? Yeah, it was, it was a little bit strategic in putting this game early. Um, you know, I thought we could have some success in the first two games. Um, and, and this game really is going gonna, is gonna to show us some positives and um, some things that we need to work on, you know, where we're strong and where we're weak. Um, and ultimately, non-conference is to prepare you for conference. And, and this game will definitely, it'll, it will prepare us for the rest of our non-conference because uh, we, we have some tough games coming up in non-conference too, uh, but also will, will help us as we get into conference. You know, it, sometimes after you've practiced for six or seven weeks, you need to, you need to be shown kind of what what we need to get better at um, you know but I but I I'm you know I think we can go in there and I think we can compete I'm looking for a competitive uh, competitive team and one that fights and obviously we're in their gym and so we're gonna have to uh, be sharp and, and be tough and uh, make sure that uh, we're on we're clicking on all cylinders Do you think uh, Kennedy and Alexis's early foul troubles kind of took them out of rhythm a bit and they struggled to get back into it yeah, they were a little tentative, I thought, all night, um, you know, just in, in some decision-making and 
some aggressiveness. I, I liked both of their – they both played great defense. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, anytime you get two quick fouls, it, it, you have to change your game slightly, um, especially since Alexis got one on the offensive end. That always backs you off a little bit. You're, you know, you don't ever mean to get a, an offensive foul. Um, and so, yeah, I do, I do like their maturity, though. And I think it shows a lot of confidence that, that we have in them that they can play with two fouls when we didn't have many other options. Uh, but two, I, I trusted that they were going to be smart and not pick up that third foul. And, and they, they did show a lot of maturity in, in being able to be smart and, um, you know, do their work early so they didn't, they didn't have to be, be in position to have to foul. All right, thanks.